Hello there, let's see how we can add React Query to Next.js 13.4 using like the app router. So basically, let's go to the project structure. So what we have here, we have the app router, which we do have the layout, which is the layout of the page and the page itself. And then we have a new page, a new route with a page a post page. And then here we have components where we have the client components and here we have the server components. This is the library which we're going to use later. And then here we have the query functions that we're going to use later. And the types and access instance for the G JSON placeholder API that we're going to use to get some posts and some utils with some constants there. Okay, so first, in order to get basically the Rack query working only on client side, we need to provide some providers. So in order to do that, we're going to create a new file here, a new folder, providers, providers.tsx. And basically what we're going to do here, we're going to say that this is clients this is not required um, it's just something that i like to use in order to say that a component is a client component you use use client there and then basically we need to add the providers uh, that we need basically for our application so in order to do that we need to create quickly a props interface then we're gonna add the rack node okay put it right here quickly add in the props and then basically we're gonna add our providers because we need to add rack query we're gonna add the query provider here so that's the query provider and we're gonna get our query instance like this because we want to have only one instance of this new client query client we're gonna hold it in a state here cool so we get gonna get the query client options these are some options like saying that we do not want to refetch and focus because a bit it's a bit confusing basically and there we go we have the children there so we got the provider there and then we're gonna go to our layout and we're gonna import in the layout here the providers basically in React just every single root from here is gonna be a server side component so we're just gonna import that and how the the React the next this works basically all the stuff in here is gonna be several components and for the client components they're gonna get rendered on the server and hydrated on the client as it was before with the pages router cool so we got the providers there and now we can go to the posts and i have created a posts client component basically we are using use query posts and uh, getting the basically the posts here using that API just simply her and then printing them out let's see if this works basically we're gonna go to the pages here import our posts here and that's done and now as you can see we get all the posts here right and in order to see that we load them, let's just quickly print out is loading there. So as you can see, we have the is loading here. Let's refresh it. So we have is loading, is loading, right? False and false goes through, right? Good. Basically, right now we load this on on the client. So that's nice 
but we want to basically load this on the server itself, right? So in order to do that, since this is a server component, we can use something like this. Basically, we need to get a query client. This is a function that I created. Basically, it creates a new query client with the same client options and it caches out. So we do not create everything, a, a new one every time, basically. So we get that and then I'm gonna use that query client but first we need to make this function async because we can do it because it's a for server component we need we can prefetch the query basically so we're gonna get the post there and then we're gonna get the get posts query function there so we're gonna basically get the get the data from the API okay and then you're gonna get the the heuristic state and you're gonna ask what we're gonna do with this basically we need to create a new component named react just one second here react query hydrate so I'm gonna have this and we need to make this a client component as well because this is gonna be used on client and basically we're gonna take this like this and we're gonna have the props here basically this is just a wrapper for this is just a wrapper for hydrating on the server right? I mean on the client basing based on the server data right so I'm gonna take this and what we're gonna do with it is we are going to go to to the page here I'm gonna import the react hydrate so I'm going to import that and we're going to add the states the hydrate state and basically what we are doing here we are getting a query client instance and we are prefetching this on the server and once that's that is done basically we're going to dehydrate the state we're going to add it we're going to add it here and then since post is a client component we're gonna get basically exactly the same data just that is loading will not gonna be true for the first load because we actually load the data on the server there right so let's see we go to here let's clean up the console here and then click on posts as you can see is loading is false right so we are getting this data directly from the server and we are basically rehydrating this on the client right basically if we are looking at the network tab and let's go to the posts but first let's do just a refresh there and go to the posts and basically this will be the page json and how the next.js works basically if you hover over a link it automatically fetches already what you need for the post and when you click on the post itself basically you're gonna get rendered everything and this is just a new post API, uh, a new get to getting the posts because this is how use query works. Even if you get the data from the server initially, you have it cached 
it will gonna still make a request to make sure that the data is basically up to date right but that is gonna be in background and will not affect anything here just that maybe somehow something changes but it's very unlikely to do so just to see that it's making a new request we can load out is fetching so if we go back clean up this clean up this and go to the post you see is loading is false false but is fetching is true so what does what the rack query does is basically is loading is a forced is showed for the first loading stuff but since we already have that cache from the server it will be false but this fetching will show when new stuff is loading in the background right a new request is done so yeah that's pretty much it how you do the combination of react query and snackjs 13.4 with the new app router where we have the layout basically we have a new component providers that we need to wrap up things here so to get the client provider there which is a client component and everything inside here will be everything in the app because this is the main layout and then in the posts you just get a query client instance you prefetch the post using the same key in here you could basically do uh, something else it doesn't need to be the same function here you could actually get here data from the database and in the in the post clients you could get the data normally through the api but in here you could access a database or something like that just to return the data and then you get the dehydrated state you put it in the hydrate component and then in the posts basically you will have the data already cached in and you don't need to worry about a loading state here so this is actually not needed uh, we can just delete that and then you have the is fetching which is done automatically by react query to ensure that you get the newest data yeah and the posts component is uh, still a client component because it's used inside the client component and we just show the data that we get from there yeah, so that's pretty much it. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you have any questions or suggestions, write up in the comments below. See you in the next one.